So, last time on Haiku the Robot, I beat the last Guardian Creator, which essentially goes back to this place called the Mainframe Vault, and now it is open to me, and I can go in there and beat what I think is going to be the final boss. Very exciting. That's our main goal today. Before we do that, also off stream, we had been collect on stream we had been collecting these things called power cores. It doesn't show them in here, but they go to a guy called Quatern and Quatern's project. And we had like four, I want to say four remaining when I ended stream last time. I streamed to the Discord and I found, I think, three. And then I found the last one afterwards on my own. And I still filmed that too. Um, I found a cute new NPC that looks like a little toaster. So we might wander around looking for them a little bit. And I reunited a couple of other NPCs. The blacksmith and the poet are like brothers, which was really cute. I also paid for a bunch of haikus from the brother. And nothing happened with that. But, you know, I made him a lot of money. Um, and I have all the chips except for one. Which I'm hoping maybe is the reward for finding all the power cores. I don't know. But that's my update. I also got this cool badge that makes me roll even faster than before. Which I love rolling around the map like this. So we start Haiku, a robot who can write verse. I think that is cute. Uh, actually I don't... Do I want to be in this room? No, I want to go to Central Core. I was so excited finding some of the very last power cores though. They were really well hidden. And we're going to turn them all in and see what this special project is. We also, last time we got double jump, I think we've only had that for one stream. And it's extremely handy. And I got this cool thing that's like the anchor and string mechanic to pull me across big long pits of obstacles. Okay, it's finished. Everything's lighting up. My darling, we did it. Our plans worked. You are just as beautiful as the day I lost you. I've waited so long for your return that the path forward is no longer clear. So where do we go from here? Time is a variable that is back on our side of the equation. Haiku, thank you for reuniting me with my darling. May the Grand Calculus favor you. What? We created a portal to another dimension. So they could be reunited. So no, I did not get a I did not get a new charm or a chip, I just got a really cute cutscene. And some money and the satisfaction of reuniting him with his darling. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I don't know where that last charm is then. Thanks, Pizzicato. We did find them all, which is pretty dang cool. I had to take off the charm that helps me collect all the like magnet one that helps me collect spare parts. Maybe I'll put that back on. Nearly at the end, we didn't get Sonnet's hat. Suits her better though. <laughs> Sonnet's a cutie. You've been my best customer. Now I have a nice stash of spare parts to spend on new books. Good timing too. I finished reading through my entire library, and now I'm just rereading a few favorites. Go get some new books! 
I'm gonna ask your extremely personal Trek question. Oh no, what's that, Sankari? I did not want to ruin that little cutscene for you when you started. Oh, it's so good. Thanks for not saying anything. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. I love the little because I got the um the brothers reunion cutscene. That's gonna be in the bonus video. And I'm hoping to get the toaster reunion scene. Although in the Discord stream, I was like combing every area of the map. And since I already did that, like I wish I had started finding the toaster at the start of that stream, you know what I mean? Kirk versus Picard, who's the better lover? <laughs> is, this, is that really the question? <laughs> oh, Kirk only loves his ship and Spock. If you had to choose between current life or life in a Star Trek future, what would you pick? Star Trek life comes with triple pets eating up all your chocolate? <laughs> Um, oop, gosh, I don't know, that's such a loaded question. I don't, like, if I grew up in a Star Trek time, I feel like I would thrive because it, I would be used to it, but it would be really hard adjusting having grown up not in a Star Trek time. So if I was, like, transported there, I don't know if I would choose that. This is what I have now, and I gotta fight for the people who need help here pre-utopian future but if it's like just choosing between growing up when i did or having grown up in the future then i would pick the future if there's no like getting up to speed i'm just kind of wandering for a moment to see if we run into that cute toaster but i don't think we're going to picard and no i will not be taking questions <laughs> What's wrong with my grammar today? No worries. You're good. I understood. You forgot Tribble's leaving nothing but bread and water. You just said they would eat my chocolate. You didn't say anything about other foods. Okay, I can't get on this ledge. There we go. Most dangerous enemy in the game. Ledge. Tribbles don't eat all food. Do they? Actually, I forget what they eat. Scary black void. I need to go save. The Federation would collapse if there was not chocolate. I'm <laughs> busted. I don't know. I like the question. Let's figure out what charms, whatever, chips I would want for battle. Auto repair. And make me go faster, that's good. I wonder if auto repair and quick repair actually work together. I hope so. They eat everything so much the Klingons consider them mortal enemies of the Empire. Well. I stand by my answers. Who's the better engineer, LaForge, Scotty, or Torres? Oh, that's a tough one. It's not even like, who do I like the best? It's the who's the best engineer. I don't know enough about Torres yet. To put them up against each other. Oh, I hate that question. <laughs> Chocolate is serious business, exactly. Have a good one, Adam. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
I'm procrastinating. Star Trek is enabling me to procrastinate this fight. Are we ready? Maybe this is a whole new map in here. I don't know. I only- I have 98.6% of the map, so I know there's stuff I'm missing. Mikair, welcome in. Music lover, welcome in. You're just in time. For whatever this is. Scale the walls. The virus! Oh, it's making unpleasant noises. And it's got gooey black arms. Nope. I keep wanting to, like, dash away and I keep dashing into. I have to learn where the little arm goes. It's so hard to know. Oh, am I far enough away? Yeah, not that time. Terrible. The noise. It took all of my spare parts and the noise was awful. Let's go looking for the toaster instead. Bolana, what even is this Delta Quadrant tech? Here goes nothing. Rest of crew, the ship, it lives! <laughs> I don't know, I really like LaForge, but I'm super biased. I just really like... LaForge. LaVar. LaForge and Data. Jordi and Data forever. But as far as, like, getting them out of a tight spot with the ship and being extremely experienced and doing stuff really quickly. Like, Scotty has the best reputation, I feel. Although Jordy, from stuff in Picard, like, later in life, I think, makes some huge breakthroughs. So are we judging them based off of, like, what we see in canon in their series, or, like, off-screen? I'm gonna overheat so quickly! This is the scariest fight ever. Let me just explode you with my explodey bomb. I am overheating! Oh, but I got to the next phase! Blobs. Goopy blobs. Oh. Scary wall. Goopy blobs. Oops. No, I went right into a goopy blob. <laughs> that was better than the first one. LaForge would tell you Scotty was better while actually being the best himself. Janeway started to assimilate Borg for spare parts and new tech. It's been ages since I've seen Voyager. I was gonna have forgotten memories. Just know the deck was stacked and against her. Yeah. Hi, Calmist. How's it going? Welcome in. Taurus had to deal with a new ship. Voyager was not even her ship at the beginning of the series. She also had to be totally self-reliant. There were not spare parts in the Delta Quadrant. Yeah, fair. Fair. All answers are good answers. <laughs> I haven't seen all of Voyager yet, so forgive me. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We try again. I still like Voyager a lot. Mm-hmm. Voyager brings up some of the most fun, like, plausibility discussions and, like, morality of can we be exempt from that rule because of our situation discussions. 
Oh, ah. So scary, so scary. I'm trying to use my little saw blade to take a hit because it gives me like one freebie hit without using coolant for my dash. And I move super fast when I'm a saw blade, which I like. Oops. Oh, your little pieces fell off of you. Does this actually hurt you, all these slashes, while you're in, like, pre-between mode animation? Blobbies. Oh. I got scared and went the wrong way. Blobbies! I ran right into the blobby. I panicked. Oh, we got even further. Creepy. Oh, that reminds me of chicory, like ink or something. Lobbies. I need to pull like a thousand spare parts out of storage for this fight if I'm gonna use auto repair. Lobbies. Focus less on making the noise. With one health! Repair! I don't have any spare parts to repair. Oof. Oof. Contaminated sword. We didn't heal the virus. We infected the sword with the virus. I don't think I won. I think that was the bad ending. Oh, look at the screen. 97.9%. You know what I forgot to mention too? There's this room. Okay, we're going back in. We're the Hollow Knight! There's... There's New Game Plus! There's this room with like a seal on the door. And maybe we get to go do that now. Maybe it's not over. Haiku, wake up. My calculations were wrong. The virus is merely a symptom of something bigger. It is not the root cause. Meet me near the locked door situated in the lowest point of Arcadia. We must face the problem at its core. See? That was the any percent ending. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, let's get some spare parts back. And now we can run into our toaster friend. I want to scroll up and read about Chakotay really quick. A few characters were really left bland and boring without much to them, even when they got chances. I remember Chakotay punching a former Maki member. Like, this is also the Maki way, which opened a lot of character development, but they didn't do it. Voyage had blemishes. Haiku powers have grown! It's not a forget about Ensign Kim. Even after serving on the ship for seven years, after several crew members have been killed, she never ever managed to get even a single promotion. The promotion system, all I'm always complaining about 
they do better in like later series, but all of TNG, I was like, when is anybody getting a promotion? And then they promote Riker, and then they take it away. Been sleepy today. The weather is very windy and cloudy. Ooh, good for good for nap noises. Rain and wind and all of that. Hopefully the storm isn't too bad, though. Thanks for the joy. Thanks for the GGs. We beat the game. It's over. Announce the poll winner. <laughs> Alright, so this door is at the bottom of whatever this area is called. The ruins. So we gotta go in inspect. Thankfully, we got all the power cores. We're missing a charm. And... That's all I have to say about that. No, nope, not that way. Oh, and I should have changed my chips back. Oh well. <laughs> I'm so bad at jumping over ledges. This isn't right either. So what do you think is going to happen? This was very... Not sealed siblings, but the other one. I can't say the word sibling in a Hollow Knight context and not think of the sibling, 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 sibling song. <laughs> Okay, get out of here, auto repair. Get in here, map sweeper. We're going to the Forgotten Ruins. I feel like I just went down here. Not that long ago. And I couldn't open it. And it was after the three- I had defeated the three creators. It's in the bonus video. I'm confused. Has the game been beat? We got an ending, but not the good ending. And it, it happened too quick. I'm not ready to be done with this that early in the stream. There's more to be done. Lawnmower. Here's the door. See, now I can interact with this. Maybe? I realize now it's no coincidence that our faiths should be intertwined, both born to bring balance. My code, the missing component, and your sword, the conduit to bind them together. My existence is the key to healing Arcadia. I materialized when the virus was created, making me the opposing force to bring balance. However, this is where my path ends. Beyond this door, you shall continue alone and face the truth. The fate of Arcadia now rests on your shoulders, little one. Bye, verse. Oh, you're joining my sword. And opening the door to what? Is this the last part of the map that I don't have? Highland, how's it going? Welcome in. Reminds you of Transistor. The Lost Archives. The Archives is a memory bank committed to the preservation of truth. It provides access to information about the origin, context, and provenance of described truth. Many would hide the truth, distort it, change it, bury it, or even destroy it. But uncorrupted truth will always come out. 
these repeat, right? Yeah. Any secrets in here? Oops. Okay. Rebirth project entry. It seems my end has come sooner than expected, so this will be my final entry. There is an undeniable strength to biological life, one much stronger than metal and steel. In truth, my task is complete. The seed has been planted and its ro roots run deep, locked between the broken crevices of the land. One way or another, nature will always prevail. This little one is not a separate one. My map is at 98.9% .9 now. Clavinet, hi! I did! I did end up finding the last core. We got the cutscene at the beginning of stream. It was so nice. Talus Principle. <gasps> the language that I never learned, but I should have. The virus infected everything. Oh no! Oh, I just switched out my charms for no reason! Oh well. Oh, I forgot what that meant. It means I have to come up here. Boss rush! Blobs! I can't I can't get away from the blobs Ow Oh Something happened I don't even know what happened Except I can't bring, like, all of my spare parts in there. Because then I lose them all when I die. But I could put on that charm that stops me from losing them when I die. I can't remember. I think it's one of the blue ones. Yeah. Pocket magnet. Hmm. I just wanted the lore. Now I think that that toaster has my last chip. Wait, why is the little robot sign in the bottom right of my screen, like, Persistently. Category still chatting? Oh, I thought I switched it. Did I not click done once I switched it? Now I did. I might not have clicked the done button. That's annoying. Oh, yeah, I don't want auto repair because then it like uses all of my stuff on the walk over. And there's not even a bank. Oh, yeah, there is a bank down here.
Did I even end up equipping it? Yeah. I'm nervous. Wait, which is... This is weird. Something just took away my saw blade for no reason. Oh, there's like electric things along the floor during that as well that I was n not seeing. How come I'm not safe underneath there? <laughs> there's just too many blobs. Oh! Spicy! Oh, I remember this fight. Oh god. This was such a long time ago. Oh, I got one. I got three? Now four? Nope, these two are gonna work together. Oh, come on. I'm already out of spare parts. Oh, poop. <laughs> There's no way. It doesn't matter about protecting spare parts when I die because I didn't have any by the time I died. I could increase- I don't really want to increase blink distance because I'm not used to a longer dash. I have a mini pizza, yum! That sounds really good. I didn't use any bombs during that. Maybe I should give up on my bomb tech. Oh, am I gonna make that noise the whole time? I don't like that. Now my question about, um, this blink distance is if I have to go through an enemy to damage them? Or... If, like, if I do this and nearby en enemies get damaged, it looks like I have to go through you. Fascinating. I think I'm gonna trade that out for the one that gives a percentage chance of critical hit. This one. This little bug of the robot walking along the bottom right hand corner is so cute. Wallstormer, how's it going? Welcome in. Thanks for using the poll command. For our next game, 
which will be announced at the end of stream. The poll will close today. Oh, I forgot to- oh no, the bank's in here. How much stuff do I have left? I'm thinking about giving Haiku a shot. It looks cool. It's really, really fun. Um, I would say go for it. Like, it's a- it's- it's a hidden treasure. I feel like not many people have heard of it. But I have had a heck of a time playing it. Kind of short, sweet Metroidvania. Really polished feeling. I have 2,000 spare parts, so why don't we take out like 100? That's probably good, right? I wonder if this electric thing is going to distract me during the fight, though. It might. You're really certain with that, huh? Clubs. Ow. Oh, too close. Okay. Done with one. That went so much quicker than last time. I keep missing that on the floor. I keep, like, not jumping at all. I'm really bad at dodging that. I'm okay at dodging this. I feel like I should be using bombs with shockwave here to do damage. But auto repair is doing its thing. Oof. Did I get one? Nope. That phase is so long. Got another one. Oh, hi. Welcome in. This is a new phase. Oh, God, this part's really hard. <gasps> oh, they're like switching between all of them now. Come on, auto repair. I need you. intense the sword hi llama <laughs> welcome in thanks for the ggs yeah oh it destroyed it now I have to read all the lore. Hi Sto, welcome in. A lonely computer. 
And a butterfly. Look, just like my ear. I planned for this. Yay! Hollow Knight crossover, yeah. It's like Jen knew what I said in my message before she read the message. I knew it was a resub. Welcome back to the human race. Your your notification gave me power to beat the boss. I didn't ever do anything with the skulls, no. There's a empty TV somewhere. There's skulls. There's a toaster that I need to finish that quest for. And... The handprint statue. I feel like there's something to do with that. Thanks to the Kickstarter backers, world builders. Very cool. Collectors. We can go explore the map and find the like secret the secrets I missed. The Easter eggs I missed. We did finish this the power cores. I'm back and you did it! I did it! Super fans. It's such a nice it's such a nice little game. The skulls said, visit the resting place. I'll, I'll read them again. Like, I, I figured out what two of them said together. If there's a third, I don't know. I'll take a clue. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Mikair, thank you for asking. I want to try to wrap up today, so I think whatever I am missing, I'll ask for clues. And then if I still can't get it, we'll just go do it. I mean, I'm definitely going to wrap up streaming today, but I would love to tie up some loose ends for, like, Easter eggs, too. Investigate the ruined surface. Okay, definitely. Yeah, we didn't do too much up there other than go to the shop, so let's check it out. Supporters. Lots of backers, supporters, credits. Very cool. You knew that there were there was a lot of fan support from the characters they put in. If you go follow up some NPCs, you'll find stuff. Is there... Okay, so I tried purchasing a bunch of haikus from the poet. Do you ever, like, purchase enough that something happens? Or is it just the reunion with the brothers? Thank you for playing! Thank you for making it! It was so good! Hmm? Excuse me. I'm not sure. I was wondering about that. 99.1%. Pretty dang good. Oh, and the missing um, chip, too. I want to find that. I'm taking this chip off, though. It's annoying. Getting my shockwave back. Getting my power enhancer back. Getting my map sweeper back. Uh, that's fine. Apparently there's an achievement for buying them all. Really? There's so many. I, ha I recorded it when I played off stream and I just kept purchasing and kept purchasing. I don't think I actually got 100% before focusing on any percent. It's a pretty- it feels like a pretty- well, is it 100% like in-game or is it 100% achievements for the speedrun? Uh, so what's the best way to get there? Probably last bunker. Yeah. And we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna find the toaster. I found the toaster, I think, in... Two... Maybe three locations so far. And I, I gave- I bought some spare parts. I gave them some of my spare parts, rather. 100% speedrun would be in-game. Don't think there's an all achievements at the moment. Cool. It's this wall, yeah. Or wait. Yeah, this is right. I think. I did get the achievement for going through the basketball hoop. Love that. Okay. 
So I came out here. I, I ended up getting a power core on that one wall on the other side. And the skulls say... Visit the resting dead. Quack did that at GDQ based on donation goal. Oh, nice. And I don't know if any of these surfaces are bombable, maybe. And you don't have any more stuff for me. They tell me to crawl back into my disgusting little hole. Alright, fine. And then there's these cannons. And then there's this. Hi, Casserole. Thanks for the good luck. We actually, we beat it. <laughs> we did get credits today. So the good luck worked. Sun is not shining here, no. Can I stand on top of their house? No. Secret hunting, yeah, that's the plan. Oh, it puts you on the ground after you go through there? Okay, never mind. I was like, maybe if I transition through the screen and then immediately use the anchor. But no. Are you gonna watch GDQ on Juneteenth? Sure. I didn't know that was a thing. The skulls is as good as the game hint gets here. Yeah. Pretty big. And the ruined surface, the only bit I've seen is this single line of map. Is there another part of the ruined surface? Many black creators do speedrun, it's really cool. Nice, yeah, that's awesome. Ash said hi is hosting. This is it? Okay. She's she's a great host. Very cool creator. Okay, let's go back over here to the cannons. Maybe the cannons do something. We have to break the window in here. <laughs> you don't get too many other... I guess if I needed to equip a different... chip. But there's, there's really just... slash and bomb and... roll. I want to be- can I be a little cannonball and go inside of one of these? No? Oops, hang on. And I don't think I can keep going up. This is tricky! Sometimes there's a little gap in the wall where you can roll through it.
I'm baffled. And most of the bombable floors have been like pretty obvious shaky ground, you know, like downward dash or whatever it's called. This looks suspicious here. I don't really see any resting dead other than the the millions of skulls. And I can't equip these. They're red and green. I was wondering if I could put them in like chip slots. I can't do anything because I'm not at a repair station. Is there anything happening in the background when the lightning goes that I'm missing? Hi Daxon, how's it going? Welcome in. There's that one reaper in the background. And then there's like a bunch of downed power lines. There's a building. Oh, weird. I assume you have to identify who all the skulls were and press down on Fudo. Strength lies at the foot of Fudo. Am I missing? Like a wiggly bit of ground. gonna overheat. I'm overheating! You're not trying one of your abilities. Oh no. Oh, blinking. I forget to do that. Yep, yep. I forget to do that everywhere. I'm like, if I slash the wall, then it'll make- it'll indicate that it's breakable. No, in this game you have to phase through everything. Currently being hinted at the back door to where you're trying to go. Well. Here's a thing. Scary. Ding! Yeah, I'm 100% certain all the stuff I'm missing in this game is because I didn't phase through enough walls. Oh. Okay, the one chip that I'm missing is because I didn't phase through enough walls. Which color was it? Reduces the amount of heat produced from bombing. Yay! Thanks for the hint. Thanks for reminding me to come here. Backer Easter egg. Cool. Resting grounds. Cool. Now I can read more of these that I got my item. Think of your favorite person and think of their smile and know now that life is worth living. Star girl. Resting festering slime here burns the souls of a thousand generations. Join the club. I don't know how to say this. Ne te retourne jamais ve le passé. Tu n'es pas un crepe. From Balthazar. Sorry, my French is not. I don't. Nope, it doesn't exist. I have no idea. Make fun of me all you want. 
Hereupon lies he who wished to eat the sun. Instead, he just ate a really spicy meal. It was good. Error 418, I'm a screwdriver. This one goes out to my closest computational companion, Bits, from Vulcan. In Pixels We Trust. Forbidden door locked and ancient key finds purchase. Mysteries unfurl. Oh, the catacombs list. Cute. Here lay the bodies of those who left the world too soon. So many. Hi. Slate. Look at this wonder. Isn't it something to marvel at? We did it, my friend. We found the lost catacombs. Although flawed, humans were loving and caring creatures. They buried their dead to remember them even when they no longer had a purpose in life. I've read some of the tombstones, and they come in all kinds of languages. So there's a good mix here. I suspect they were the last of their kind. They were the last believers that held on to their heritage when all hope was lost. I might just sit here for a while and soak in the astonishment of this place. Cute. I found the room by coming back to talk to this guy. Cute. I am so proud of my darling Jordan for making this game. This game is a dream come true for him and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Good luck to you in the journey. I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. It's the melody within the heart that guides us on the journey. Patrick Pavrick Meyer. Cute. I, own God well, shouts out God, Frankie. Snuffy, cheeks, bony Bob Cliff, I could go on forever. Bye. <laughs> what? You are responsible for your own happiness. Take charge and consider what is best for yourself. Cute. I'm almost done. I'm gonna read the big ones. I'm proud of my brother! Lorem Ipsum seems appropriate. <laughs> To those in the distant future, should you find my grave, I ask, is this Silk Song? Is Silk Song out yet? <laughs> I thought it was gonna. It said, "Is this Silk Song?" at first. Too soon, yeah. All right, let's go over here. A little boombox. A little tent. So was this closed and I should have broken something open here? Was there- I don't even remember this door. Wild. Very well hidden. Very cool. Okay, my next question is, am I able to fight the TV? Or, oh, is that like 100%? Is that one connected to the map room? Because there's a map room that shows you your progress towards 100%. And I was wondering if I needed to go back to the TV fight later when I had completed the map room. So maybe we'll try to do that. Wasn't the guy at the wall saying I know there's something through here? Maybe. And I just never figured it out. So many secrets. The TV is a planned DLC. Oh, okay, nice. Good to know. So then I think the toaster is the only thing I have left and we know it's not a chip. But we're still gonna try to find the toaster. Thanks for the lurk, soul. We are going to take a quick break, and 
I need to stretch and use the bathroom. We're gonna come back and try to find the toaster. And then, what's my map look like? 100%, we 100 percent of the map. So that's all that I have left. Hi. So let's go find toaster friend. Okay. I forget where I found them. I want to say somewhere over here. Maybe opinions expands, maybe factory. Maybe water ducks. Huh. It's hard to say. I'm really tempted to look this one up and just find and just like go to each of their next location. Because I don't love the idea of combing through everything. I think they, I might have run into them in like Water Ducks, Forgotten Ruins, and one other place. But I don't love the idea of combing through sunken wastes all over again. It's scary and dark. I don't know, we could see. I'm gonna Google it. Does anyone know? Oh, I pressed too many buttons. Toaster locations. Okay, it looks like Central Core is actually where I found them first. Oh, maybe you don't have to go in order. But there is a spot in Sunken Waste, of course. And there is a spot in Last Bunker. The water area is where you first meet them. Katana, hi, welcome in. We're almost to Friday. <laughs> Yeah, so then I, I met them in... There's an area just off of waterways. And that's where I found them. Have you talked to the elevator? You can talk to the elevator? And I think the, it's just waterways and center core that I found them in. Maybe. Oh gosh, I'm so confused. Okay, let's just go to Sunken Waste and get it out of the way. You should go talk to the elevator. Should we do that first? Let's save it. We will, though. A silly achieve. I love it. I love silly achieves. That's what that's what we're here for. What chips do I have? Do I want to put the magnet back on? I don't really care about picking up tons of extra spare parts right now. I have lots. Elevator best bud. That's too cute. So there's a heart station and then there's like a central room and I guess it's at the bottom of that central room. The angled elevator. I probably won't remember until we get over there. It's up this way. Yeah, all, I combed through Sunken Waste in our Discord stream. And I hadn't unlocked the toaster yet, so I didn't find them here. I wonder if it's in a spot that I was going, Huh, it looks like there should be something here and there's not. The deep nest of Haiku the Robot, of course. Sunken Wastes. And there's even, I think it was in Sunken Wastes where we had like the traitor, or no, the betrayed. Basically, the creator boss that wasn't a boss fight, it was just like an abandoned body. Actually, no, that was in the green area, maybe. Going to get Blink is the most dangerous part of the speed run. Oh, hi! Ah, where did you come from? It's so scary down here. Did I ever tell you I'm afraid of the dark? I'm trying to muster the courage to poke my head out again, but I can't. I simply can't. You're gonna be okay. 
What am I gonna do now? Why are the bulbs strung up like that? I think I'm gonna stay here a bit longer. It's all too scary. Aww. Going to get Blink was- yeah, that was a- a hike. And I felt like I did it early, but I think that's just where you go. You get the light bulb and you go down here and start poking around. Okay, actually I didn't want to go through that door. I just want to come back the same way that I just did. I think the bunker is all I have left. I found them in their initial spot. I found them in central core. This room is confusing. Go through s incinerator is scary too. And then through sunken, very easy to die. Isn't there... Is there like a deathless achievement, damageless achievement? I would never. I need to do Steel Soul someday. Okay, whatever, I can take damage here, it's fine. Corrupt no mode would be that basically it isn't quite damageless. Oh, is that the... No, there's an achievement where you never pick up the wrench, though. Where am I going? Well, let's go down here and make sure I got the one in. No, I definitely got this one. In Forgotten Ruins. It's underneath this NPC. It's all the way over here, so I should just go to the train station regardless. I don't think there was an actual achievement added. There was for the wrench the last I checked. Okay, wrenchless is different, okay. Yeah, I don't know if they added one for corrupt mode. Let's go to the ruins. My favorite part about this game is the saw blade, <laughs> the NPCs, and learning I could string dashes together. I think those were all my favorite parts of this game. Oh yeah, and pogoing. Getting to places that I wasn't supposed to get to without the anchor because I was just chaining dashes together. The morph ball corner boosting is my favorite. The movement is surprisingly tricky. Corner boosting. That sounds cool. Okay, it's this room that has the toaster. I think we already talked to you because I feel like you would have been up here. And they leave breadcrumbs. They leave little bits of toast behind wherever they go. It's on like a little floaty platform in this room. We could go buy some more haikus. The haikus, I screenshotted a bunch of them. They're really cute.
Least favorite enemy, the scissors. Take the hardest to see and take the most hits. Proportionate to their tiny bodies. I looked out across this land of scrap and fervor and hoped for escape. Rust, steel, and sparks. Oil is plenty for all. These electric dreams. Oh, weird. Hi, Jaeger. Welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for the resub. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badger emotes your ad reviewing. Thank you for 10 months. It's good to see you. Hi. The final boss in the game should be the first poetry teacher in Dead Poets Society. <laughs> A separate side quest. We're just reading poems. Kingdoms rise and fall upon those that reign before this chain shall remain. A virus spread fast. The whole world has fallen ill. How can we survive? From where fell this pain, able to betray our code forever binding? Metal clinks all day. Rusty robot is at play. Rest you, little one. Aww. Orange skies of dust taking hold of all of us. Let go, show no fuss. World falling apart. Cries of the past heard all day. New stories to come. I'm trying- Oh, that's it! I better start writing some more! I was just about to give up, too. Well, that's all of them. Thank you for your beautiful poetry. Sold out. We're just knocking out achievements. Thank you, bot. Thank you, Loon. I spent a good chunk of cash on you. And here I was all, I don't need to worry about the magnet thing, but maybe I do. Okay, I think we're heading to last bunker. Ooh. I'm not good at movement in this game. I just like bouncing around with the with the different things. It's just fun. It just feels nice. Is it you? No. Train. Take me to the bunker. Watch, now I won't have the central core one. I, I, I'm pretty sure I do. We're about to find out. The bunker spot I'm looking for is... Oh yeah, it's the bunk- it's literally the bunk bedroom. Cute. You wanna learn how to slide? Sure, why not? I don't think I'll be speedrunning this game anytime soon, but it's fun to learn stuff. We did that for, um, La Mulana too, like, just a couple of little tech things at the end of the playthrough. If you hit a wall with your sword, you will recoil a little bit. After the recoil, you'll hold wrench until you will slide. <laughs> like that? <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Moonwalking night. Or, I mean, bot. Dang it. Jen, this isn't Hollow Knight. can blink slide very fast if you blink and hold wrench quickly. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, toaster friend's not here. I messed it up. But then I gotta remember to let go of the button, because otherwise it doesn't matter if you keep sliding forever. That's way too much fun. Ooh. Let me up! 
I don't have enough health for this. Okay, so now, oh god, I keep, my controller like rolls around. Now we have to go to Central Core underneath this room with like three circles. Hi Zara, welcome in. How's it going? Okay, let's keep practicing sliding. <laughs> Endlessly amusing. All the way up here. Oh, that wasn't even the fastest train. Let's go to factory facility. Is Dunk in here? Yeah, he's still chilling. I thought I heard him meowing. Having a really bad day, but let's not let that bother us. Okay, I hope it gets better. Or I hope tomorrow is is not so bad. Sometimes you just can't help a day sucking and you just move on to the next one as, as quickly as you can. We. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to talk to the elevator. The slanted one? Which one is the slanted one? Is it in the bunker? Hi, toaster. Hello again. Haha. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm building? A little house for my tiny robots. Silly humans. Should have named me architect instead of toaster. You're so cute. Big slanted elevator on the right of map. Oh. I didn't hear safe word. Hi, Power Lord. Welcome in. We beat it, so we are looking for Easter eggs. Uh, and I do not mind the assistance. I love this little toaster. Where am I going? Right here? Yep. We just came through here. Nugs, hi. I did find the Kickstarter room. I had help, but it was definitely worth it. It's really good. Um, now we're gonna go. Let's just go to the elevator because we're right here, and then we'll we'll go over and see. Uh, Toast. My name is Toast. For our being puppy cat fans. <laughs> this one? It's got a little face. It's blinking. But I can't climb down the ladder. Hi. Let me talk to you. I glitched. Mundo says hi. <laughs> Something long time no see. I feel like I have to send it away 
and then talk to it while it's passing me. That's so weird. Mundo! <laughs> the only way I know how to talk to the elevator is by breaking the game. What's the toast cast ship called? Toastus Bella. Might be easiest to talk to it on the bottom floor. I don't know. Is there a better way to do this? <laughs> Mundo! Oh! <gasps> Cute! Long time no see, welcoming face, only mean machines here. Mundo sleep long time, factory line sleep long time, now they awake, now they hum again. Mundo never see factory sleep before. Mundo too big for infection. Infection too small, but you smaller than infection. Mundo asks you stay true. Infection unlocks hidden darkness inside. You too good for darkness. Mundo thinks new chapter started. Mundo thinks new chapter started. This game is so good. It's so... The little NPCs are so cute. My favorite part. I didn't get the slide. Or maybe I did. There we go. And what was the other way to do it? The recoil? Yeah. We use that to move ever slightly faster than walking. Yeah, very- it's- it feels about the same as, um rolling but when you don't have roll or the the badge for the chip for increased roll speed yet it's really fast or you mean oh yeah because you need blink for the uh, the really fast one okay it's slightly faster <laughs> i see look at their kicking their little feet Hi, I was hoping to bump into you again. I realize that I have time to find purpose. Simply existing is good enough, and I know that someday I will find my way. I appreciate your patience. You helped me in my time of need, and you listened when I needed it most. It's nice being back here, back to my bread toasting roots. I hope one day I'll be able to repay you. It's nice being back here. Oh, okay. I didn't... I, that's fine. Buddies! They have the little blushy cheeks. Best achievement. I don't, that, was that an achievement? Yeah, I think it's called Brave Little Toaster. I can check. I am at... 36 of 40 achievements. Not bad. Missing... Interact with every backer message tomb. Okay, that'll take me a while. Bid farewell to Rusty. Destroy Splunk's house. When he was like, oh, I'm an architect now. You can actually cut it down. And no repairs. Complete the game without picking up the wrench. I'm happy with the ones I have. Let's go save. Right across here. Perfect. 
Perfect. Game saved. What is... What exactly is corrupt mode? <laughs> One health? Okay. I'm good. But it's cool that that exists. <laughs> I'm not good enough for that. That's fun. Alright, friends. Oh, that was weird. My save file looked different. I think you can get more health points, but after you lose them, they're gone. Interesting. Um, thank you for playing and watching Haiku the Robot with me. I loved it. Thank you for the extra help on Easter eggs at the end. I think I had all the questions answered that I wanted to answer. Bottom right of Forgotten Ruins, Metal Door. That was like the true ending. Poems Guy. There was a cap to purchasing Haiku po purchasing poems. Toaster Guy. We just finished. And then Handprint Statue is actually my last thing. Is there anything you can interact with that big handprint statue? Or is it just like a relic? I'm curious about that. The lore is cool. I took a lot of notes that I didn't end up needing. But I just like taking notes. I'll look at them. Not that I know of. And the TV was another question I had. And at some point I can, I'll go back up to the map display room. It's actually in the last bunker and it'll, it'll show me a hundred percent. I don't know. Maybe something will happen. Probably not. Another indie Metroidvania I love is Axiom Verge. You can check that out right here. Thanks to my Kofi supporters, Oracle the Great, 8-Bit Trav, Toon Wolf, Semi Cortex, Metal Spring Pro, Megadan, and Wymiser. I appreciate you so much. Later humans. <laughs>